Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Good evening, coach. Good night. Good. Welcome to the class. So, uh, yesterday we were checking about uh, the usage of adjectives and enough. Do you remember? So it was part of the book. So let's start by reviewing that one and we're going to write, and we're going to practice writing to start the class and we're going to write anything that you want but using adjectives and enough. So we're going to try to use three or four times that part. And you remember that you can use that in affirmative or in negative to express ideas. So. We're going to start on that one and I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to write and then share with the class, okay? So do you have any question about the activity? Perfect, so I'm going to give you just a few minutes for you to check into that one and then you are going to share, okay? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Uh, no era um, the expositions for the the different products in marketing. Ah, uh, yeah, that is going to be for tomorrow. Yes. So tomorrow you are going to do a little commercial, let's say, for any yes. product. So by now it will be just uh, uh, a little paragraph with the uh, adjective enough, maybe three or four times about anything. It doesn't have to be about a product. Yeah, for the ones that are just joining, uh, we are doing a little exercise. We are uh, writing a little paragraph with adjectives and enough. So, for example, yesterday we were checking about uh, things like this is good enough or not good enough or any other adjective for that one. So, that's what we're doing. It's going to be a very short exercise.
Okay, so let's check it out. Who wants to share the examples with adjectives and enough? Anybody wants to share that for the first? As a review, of course. Or do you need more time? I don't know. Hi, teacher. Good night. Hello. And good night, everyone. I don't I don't understand very good the, the, the exercise, but um I have I have a sentence with with uh, use the adjective uh, enough, for example, um, in the last week I made breakfast or my breakfast by myself to good enough uh, with uh, okay, egg, very good. beans, cheese, and a cup of coffee. It is my example, uh, teacher. I don't know if it's me, but I, I don't see you very clear. I don't hear you very clear. Yeah, I was I was telling you, I don't know if it's just me, but I was not, there was some cut off. I, I didn't get the idea. Mm. Uh, but yes, I mean, it's just mm. to, to write maybe sentences, two or three with, uh, as you remember, um, on the book, we were checking that sometimes uh, it's possible for you to use adjective and enough to determine when something is good enough or uh, in ah. negative when you say ah, that. Ah. Uh, 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 for, for example, teacher, um, I was, I was, um, um, I was played football enough? Is possible? Um, it could be. The only difference is that with that one, you are not using a, a, an adjective. So, for example, when you say uh, El Salvador doesn't have doesn't have highways good enough, uh, we need to transform all the streets because there are too many cars and the streets are too too small they are not wide enough something like that okay. so why in this case is the adjective and then you use enough okay teacher <laughs> for example teacher uh, i can say i'm not good enough for speaking english Oh, very good. That is a very good. I I mm -hmm. haven't practiced enough or good enough or uh, much enough uh, practicing English. That will be something nice because, uh, yes, yeah, it's expressing that you need to improve in that part. So, and that, that's the idea with enough, right? That sometimes enough. And the adjectives are for you to express that you need something more, a little bit more of some. And the adjective is for you to express the the qualification of a noun. So it's to express that you need to improve or that you have enough on something. And sometimes, I mean, the situation with enough is that we are able to use that with nouns or with adjectives. It's kind of the same, but. In English, I mean, when you go to other countries, sometimes we don't use that one kind of in a good context. Sometimes people, they don't get the ideas. But uh, it's possible to use enough with both, with uh, nouns and with adjectives. And the position is also very important on that one. But that is fine, okay? No worries. Uh, I remember that we did some exercises and every, everybody was doing everything fine. Okay, 
So uh, also remember, we uh, are going to receive. Um, let me think. It's going to be this week. Uh, next week, you will be receiving probably the service. One is going to be the one from Inglés Corporativo. That is going to be so just for you to evaluate the teacher. That is me. And the other one is going to be for INSAFORP. I believe that you have done that before, right? The INSAFORP survey. Uh, remember that that one specifically is going to be made um, in the last class. Okay, it's going to be filled for everybody in the last class together and not possible for you to do it uh, by yourself before that one. And uh, I believe that you have experience in that one. We always watch a video on the last class and uh, for you to know how to fill it out. And also whenever we finish that part, we're going to, we're going to uh, send a screenshot that you have submitted that one. The, um, Situation is that we need to do that on the class because it has to be recorded on the video that we are doing that together. And it's going to be at a specific time as well. Also, another thing is that, uh, as I was telling you this weekend, we need to finish uh, the unit one and the unit two. And then we need to finish also uh, the uh, <laughs> test. Uh, remember that the meter test, we were checking yesterday uh, some exercises where when you are typing information in the boxes, sometimes it's kind of tricky because a space, a period that is not there or that is more, or sometimes also um, a symbol. Uh, we have problems sometimes with the apostrophe because uh, that symbol is similar to other symbols in the computer and the keyboard. And when you enter the one that is similar, but it's not the apostrophe, it's not taking the, it's not taking the solution. So we need to be careful on that one. Anyways, I will be checking the WhatsApp. And if you have any questions, I will be, I will be checking on that one. I remember that um, one person was not able to log in into the platform. I reported that one and I don't know if it's possible for you to log in. No, it's just not video. Okay, I will check on, on that later on. But uh, I reported that one, and I hope everybody has access to the, to the platform. So you have uh, that access right now, right? Okay, so we are going to check the attendance for tonight before we move on. Let me just get into that. Hold on a second. Okay, so Aida Isabel López Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Pues en teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. 
María Julia Ramos Rival. Present teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ávalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidoni. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Good. Sandra ya. Okay. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Uh, you, I remember that you were the one who didn't have access to the platform, right? Excuse me? So I remember that you were the one who didn't have access to the platform. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, do you have yes, access to it? Veronica Lisa, yes, I'm going home now. Uh, yeah, uh, I was asking you if you are able to use the platform already. Uh, okay, I will be... Uh, yeah. Review. I will review. Uh, I don't okay. know. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Very good. Nice. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay, so let's continue with the class, and we are going to go with the book. Check. You can see here in the chat that there are problems with the energy. So, and uh, yeah, I know that it's been raining. Things yes. I know sometimes it's difficult. Okay, so we're going to start with a conversation. Okay, so it says, I will be able to recognize the components of the place and promotion strategies of a famous national club service. So, in the first uh, action section, the first part says, what is the process of moving products from the producer to the intended user code? Uh, this is an easy one. Do you remember what is the name of that? the process of moving products from the producer to the intended user. Okay, you don't remember. So you can say place or you can say distribution, right? So we were speaking about that, about distribution channel, retailer, wholesalers, things like that. And the last uh, one says how important is placement to reaching the right target audience. What do you think? Is it important, the placement to reach the right audience at the end? Yes, teacher, it's very important for the placement uh, at any, any product for duration. Okay. Yeah, it's very important, right? Because remember that we uh, we go to stores, we go to retailers, so you, we can purchase some products. If, if we didn't do that one, it would be very difficult for us to to reach the product. It would be probably more expensive. So, and for the companies, it would be very very complicated. So they can put the uh, the products at hand. All right, so let's go to the conversation. So Sophia is discussing some ideas about the place to distribute her product. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Okay, so I will read as usual. You can check the pronunciation and then you are going to practice and then we can check the vocabulary. So it says, I would like to sell training courses online. 
I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Yeah. Do you have any questions on that? For me, no. No. Okay, no pronunciation questions. Yes, teacher. How uh -huh. did you pronounce develop? De de developed. That word? Develop. Mm -hmm. Developed. Okay, develop. thank you. Develop. Okay, any other question? You, irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, irrelevant. Irrelevant. Irrelevant, yeah. Awareness. 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 No. Any other? A few. Esta va a unir a ti. A few. Uh, a few, yeah, a few. It's two words, but almost always it's together because it's like an expression. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so let's practice. Let's see how it goes. Let's start with uh, René Molina and Roberto Carlos. Okay. <clears throat> uh... I am Sofia. It's okay. 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 I am Arnold. Okay. Very good. I would like to sell training course online. I have developed a few, but I am not sure if she'll get a place like a store, a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advance, advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training, training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web, the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create Create answers, answers, answers about your product from social networking sites and create a no interest. Interest is the courses, so what people will be by them. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. So now we're gonna listen Sandra Gomez and Oseas. Okay. I am Sofia. Okay. okay. I would like to show training course online. I have developed a few, but I am not sure if so. Get a place like to start the show then. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by accept? By access. You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from so social network networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Very good, perfect, okay, thank, thank you. you. 
Now we're going to listen uh, Ernesto Andrade and Mauricio Rivera. Okay, okay. I am Sonia, Sofia, Mauricio. Okay. Okay. Um, I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually running. You have to take advantage of access. What, what do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phone to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Veronica, Elizabeth, is it possible for you to read or no? Maybe not, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's see. Juan Roberto and Carla Alejandra Castillo. I'm here. I'm here. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, let's wait a little moment, Carla. So it's going to be Juan Roberto and... Uh, uh, Veronica. Okay, I'm going to start. Okay. okay. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I am not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually relevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. If people are always using their phones uh, to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Very good, perfect, thank you. Okay, now Carla Alejandra and Paola Hernandez. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, I start. Okay. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You can sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Very good, perfect, thank you. So now we're gonna listen Ana Hernandez. Is it possible for you, Ana? Okay. Okay, and Maria Julia. Yeah. Okay. okay. I would I'm... like to say training course online. I have the love of team, a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is, is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? By access? You could sell your, your training course online. People uh, are, are always using their to serve the, the web and, and learn new, new things. This is great. This is great because you can create awareness about your growth from social networking sites and create a new interest in the course so that people will buy them. Very good, perfect, thank you. Let's see now, Silvia Patricia, is it possible for you? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, Monica Avalos, is it possible for you? Yeah. Not possible, okay, so it's going to be with Eric Reyes, okay? Okay. okay. I would like to sell training course online. I have developed a few, but I am not sure if I should get a place like the store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the, the web and learn new things. This is, this is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest, interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Jennifer Amaya, is it possible for you? No possible. And Blanca Tunaka? I am Sofia. Okay, uh, let's, let's check Blanca, okay. Jonathan, is it possible for you? Okay, I'm a uh, star. Okay, Blanca, you are going to do it. We're going to repeat. Juan Roberto, please do it with Blanca. Please start. Okay. okay. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed, developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their funds to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that so that people will buy them. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much, okay? So um, let's check some things. Um, what is sell, do you remember? Sell is vender, vender. venta. Very vender. good, nice. And what is training courses? Cursos, Cursos de entrenamiento. Very good. Uh, let me ask you, do you do you take in uh, training courses besides the English course that we are right now? Do you take training courses online sometimes? Yes, which are yeah. virtual training courses. Yeah. For example, local develop development by uh, in the UCA. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Yes. Very good. Yeah, it's it's very convenient nowadays, right? I remember that before it was I mean, you have to go to the place. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's nice to be face to face with people, but now it's very convenient because we can do online training courses and it's going to be uh, from home. So it's, it's nice. Then it says, I have developed a few. So what is develop? Do you remember? Desarrollo. Desarrollo. Very good. And a few? Un poco. Very good. Unos cuantos, unos pocos. But I'm not sure, says. Let's say what else. Um, advantage. Remember the pronunciation, please. Ventaja. Yeah. Very good. Uh, awareness. What is awareness? Conciencia. Very good. So it's like everybody will know that the courses exist, right? Um, 
Okay, uh, I don't have any other vocabulary. Do you have any questions here? Any other word or pronunciation? Okay, good, so let's do the exercise. Says, look at the conversation and answer the questions below. So number one says, what does Sophia want to sell? What does Sophia want to sell? Training course. Training, Training course. course online. Training course online. Very, training course online, nice. Uh, what isn't she sure about? She she's not sure, sure about uh, get a get place. A place. Very good, nice. So she's not sure about getting a place, like, like a store to sell them. And uh, what are Arnold's recommendations? Uh, his recommendation is sell her training her courses training course. online. Okay, very good. Online to do it online, right? So everybody, uh, yeah, nowadays I believe that is is true. If you want something, if you want to buy a cake or to know a route or to have a recommendation about many things, uh, I mean, in the social media you can find lots of recommendation about any. Right, so uh, definitely that would be okay. Let's uh, move on, and we're going to go to the other part of the grammar. Enough. How to use enough with nouns? As I was telling you before in the class, uh, we checked already how to use enough with the uh, adjectives. So you say good enough, for example, right? So now we're going to check uh, about enough with nouns. Let's see. Mm. Ramiro, could you please help me reading uh, this? How to use enough with nouns. Look at the example in the box, then complete the, the exercises below. Enough is a word that can qualify an adverb or an adjective. <clears throat> Excuse me. It can also be used before a noun. The company does don't have enough information about the customers to understand their needs. We designed enough promotion to create to create a short term increase in sales. The strategy may be used to distribute enough products. The store needs to sell enough items to continue in business. There were not enough experts to perform the task. Perfect, thank you. So, uh, yes, this is a little bit different than the other that we check, right? So it says, look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Enough is a word that can qualify an adverb or an adjective. It can also be used before and now. The company does not have enough information about the customers to understand their needs. So the main difference between this and the other one that we check is that when we use an adjective, we have first the adjective and then enough. Here is the opposite. We have first enough and then the noun. So the position is very important. Okay. Check the other example. We design enough promotions to create a short term increase in sales. Remember also that enough is not singular or plural. Here we have this that is plural in promotions, but enough is the same. Okay. This strategy may be used to distribute enough products. The store needs to sell enough items to continue business. There were not enough experts to perform the tasks. So here we are going to always use enough before the noun. But if the word that is 
uh, describing enough is the adjective. First is the adjective, and then is enough. That is the big difference. Uh, do you have any questions here? Teacher, I have I have a, a question. Okay. For example, in the second in the second sentence, uh, what is the uh, traduction in Spanish? We designed enough promotions to create a short term increase in sales. Okay, let's see. Nosotros diseñamos suficientes promociones para crear un pequeño un... término para incremento de ventas. Uh, no, no. It's good. The, the first part is good, okay? Nosotros diseñamos de, suficientes promociones para crear, está ahí, está bien, un incremento en las ventas en el corto, al cor, en un corto periodo, en el corto tiempo. En un corto plazo. Plazo. Okay. 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 That would be. So it's very interesting the question because uh, remember that when you have, and I, I don't remember if we discussed that, but when you have... Um, Nouns, sometimes the nouns transform into adjectives. For example, when you say uh, técnico, ingeniero, técnico en ingeniería en computación, for example, uh, in English is going to be the opposite, right? How do you say that in English? Técnico en ingeniería de computación. Técnico en ingeniería? De computación. Engineer. Can Pure engineer, technical. Aha. Uh -huh. Why, teacher? Why? Uh, let's Why? check. Let's check here in the chat. In the chat, I'm going to type the answer. It's going to be, yo dije, técnico en ingeniería de computación. So it's going to be computer engineer technician. The English is crazy, teacher. Actually, it's very logical because, and that's why we are checking this example. So we have okay. technician. 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 Okay. Entonces, eh, aquí lo interesante es de que ingeniero, engineer, sí, es un nombre, pero este nombre está en función de un adjetivo. Está describiendo. O sea, técnico en qué. Quiero que me describa en qué. Ah, en ingeniería. Pero ingeniería de qué. De computación. Entonces, este engineer, primero, va a estar escribiendo a technician. Y luego computer está escribiendo a engineer. A pesar de que son nombres, se transforman en adjetivos. Y por eso, según el orden del inglés, primero va el adjetivo y luego va el nombre que está escribiendo. So that is part of the grammar. Exactly that is what is happening here in this part. So... Increase in sales, but a short term is describing this part. That's why sometimes we we read it the opposite, but it's because of that. Adjectives, nouns can be adjectives. Can, uh, I mean, expressions can be adjectives and are going to describe other nouns. So that happens a lot. In and that was a very good question, actually. Because this is something that sometimes, I mean, in the English books, it's not the explanation. Because this is a problem only for the people that speak Spanish, right? Because we do it in a different way. But they do it in another way. So it's a very interesting question. I don't know if it's clear. Is there any question about that? No, no, for me, not teacher. And I need practice. Definitely. Practice is yes. very important, right? Yes. <laughs> Good. Peter, I have a question for the um, the platform mm -hmm. in the uh, in the Tarea 2.11. Mm -hmm. This is exactly this is sentence mm -hmm. uh, the, to the condition, uh, continue. But <laughs> it's impossible response correctly i change the position all the uh, uh, possible uh, re, uh, response mm -hmm. but i cannot uh, uh, good the sentence i see let's check on that one so uh, which exercise you say that is it 
Yes. Uh, which one? Okay. ¿Cuál ejercicio es? Eh, los cuatro primeros que aparecen ahí son los mismos que están en la plataforma. Pero... Ah, sí, pero, pero no sé si es el 2.7, el 2.11. 2.11. All right. Let me just go there. Que es el mismo que está en el midterm. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Sometimes they repeat that one. Let me just do it very quickly, okay? So let's see. Okay. So we can analyze what's going on. Sometimes there are errors on the platform. So uh, if you have any questions, of course, you can ask me and we can check into that one. Mm, okay. It's the second part, right? The one that you need to type. Yeah, let me see here. I have, I have a question about it to teacher. Okay. For Let's example, check. in the part 2.2, what mm -hmm. are the four P's? Ah, okay. We checked that in the class I did it yesterday. But we're going to check on that one, okay? Okay, okay. Thanks. Let me just finish this. But that one is actually the ones that we checked in the class. Do you remember? That is product, promotion, uh, place, and price. Okay, I finished this one. Let's check that one, okay? So you can see that. All right, I just finished the exercise. I believe that in the first part, we don't have any problems. So uh, complete the sentence using the information in parentheses and enough, right? So we have mm -hmm. demand, channels of distribution. So it says, uh, the place strategy, demand, mm -hmm. enough channels, of distribution period. Yes. <ríe> Así lo escribí yo también y no no me lo pone malo, no sé por qué. But Channels. Channels, sí, quizá distribution. The the month it is with with s. Yeah, the month. The month, yes, it is. Ah, the month. The yeah. month. Ah, sí, porque okay, es tercera persona. Uh -huh. Por eso no se me da no me da correcto. The month Okay. okay. Okay, the number said, two. The number two teacher. It says our, our product, product offer a great Maria, me puedes ayudar un momento. Okay. Our products offer great feature. Features, features, uh -huh. features. And benefits, and that's it. And benefits. Aquí no lleva ese. Our no, product okay, no. Porque our offer, product is no es tercera persona. Our product offer. Uh -huh. Offer enough. Great. Ah, lo que pasa es que le falta enough. Aquí en el ejercicio, en la plataforma, no tiene enough. Por eso no se lo acepta. Usted lo tiene bien, pero la plataforma no está bien. O sea que si usted le quita enough, le se la va a poner buena, pero no debería ser wow. así. Vamos a ver. Sí, porque tiene que. Ok, mm -hmm. teacher. Sí, póngala así ahorita solo para que se la ponga buena, pero lo mejor es, lo correcto es con enough. Sí. Que debería llevar. Our product offer great, great features and benefits. Ok. Solamente así. Great features. Ok, hoy sí lo da bueno. Sí, es que es error, pero por eso lo revisamos, no hay problema. Chequeamos el número tres. Retailers mm -hmm. will goods. No, will stock. Will stocks. Okay. Sin S, stock. A stock. Ahí uh, sí, enough. Enough. Goods. Goods and. And sell them. Sell them. Punto, eh. Aquí no le puse punto. Si no se le agarra con el punto, hay que quitar el punto. Porque esos detalles son a veces que causan problemas. Sí, yo ahora tenía con punto. <ríe> the last one, the number four, the marketing department hasn't create enough. But hasn't created, porque como es presente created. perfecto. Ah, ok, ok. Hasn't created enough interest, aquí sí yo le puse punto. Enough interest interest uh -huh. punto uh -huh. 
Eh, me dice si esa se la pone bien, porque este tiene otro truco. Ah, muy bien. Ok. Ok. <risa> Veamos la última, just in case. It says, we okay. lack enough information on the competition. competition. Period. Punto. Ajá. Sí, correcto. Perfecto. Ok. Anybody else has a question about this exercise? Excelente. <risa> Sí, a veces... estaba, estaba loco, lo escribía como 20 veces, lo copiaba, <risa> las mismas letras que están ahí. Eh, eh, gracias. No, claro. No me la tuya, tampoco, eh, y a Ramiro, sí, ¿te acordás, Ramiro? Sí, o sea, con la 1.5, en la 1.5 <risa> había que cambiarle una letra, una, una palabra y, 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 y solo así. <risa> sí. Ajá, sí, a veces se pone... Mal. Ajá. Pero estuve, estuve como tres días pedaleando con eso, ¿verdad, Oscar? Sí, sí. Cierto. Ok. Sí, no, pero no hay problema. Ustedes me dicen, me dicen ahí, eh, uh, y lo, lo verificamos. Eso no es un problema. Y pasa. De hecho, es lo que se estaba diciendo um, al, al inicio de la clase. Con estos que tenemos que ingresar nosotros, las palabras, todo el ejercicio, eh, tiene trucos o a veces tiene errores. Porque vaya, por ejemplo, por eso le decía si la 4 se la agarra, porque aquí hasn't, en esta, este apóstrofe, a veces hay dos o tres símbolos que se parecen, pero no son el apóstrofe. Sí, y si ponemos no es tilde. Ajá. Entonces, si le ponemos el otro, no lo agarra. Está no lo agarra. Pensando, porque la, el circo, la computadora exactamente quiere ese símbolo. Lo mismo con el punto, o si dejamos un espacio al final o al principio, o entre alguna palabra, no lo agarra. Entonces, esos detallitos ese, son Por ejemplo, ese no lleva punto al final en todo, y, y en todo lleva punto. Exacto. Entonces, un truquito, una cosa como por eso eh, eh, hace que a veces no, no esté bien. O el error que tenía, que tiene que llevar en off, pero aquí en la plataforma está sin en off, en la número dos. Sí. Yo creo que aquí te, tuvimos todos los ejemplos, menos el del apóstrofe, pero sí, eso, eso es lo que pasa. Entonces. Sí. Thank you. Y es bien posible también que cuando hagan el midterm test, allá esté diferente, que allá, por ejemplo, el número dos si está allá, que sí lleve enough. A veces sucede eso también. Lo pueden probar ah, okay. de una manera o de la otra. Ok, thank you. Teacher, teacher, the second, the second sentence, our product offer great, great. Ah, sí, enough. Great features. But great, great. Mm -hmm. Features and benefits. Okay. Okay. Esta es la que no lleva enough y debería de llevar. So. Y, lleva, y lleva great, great. Uh, ah, yeah. Eso? Great. Uh -huh. Our products offer great. Esa no sé por qué dónde se va a sacar. Features and okay. benefits. Uh -huh. Yo creo que great está en vez de, de enough. Esa es posible. Es posible. Ok, muy bien. Any other question about this exercise? Just to number four, the team marketing. Yeah, the, the marketing department, department hasn't, hasn't yes. okay. uh, created. Created. Yeah, it's in past because it's present perfect. So created no. enough interest in okay. the period. Okay. Yeah, just teacher, okay. in the, in the last one. Ah, the last one, okay. <clears throat> we lack yes. enough we lack no information information on, on the competition. competition. Okay. okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, uh, somebody has another question. Just teacher, in the 2.2, what are the four P's? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, we checked that already. We can repeat that one. Uh, product, price, place, promotion, and the period. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That would be it. It's not a definition. No, it's just what are the four things. Product, price, place, and product, and promotion. That is going to be it. Okay, good, good. Any other question? Okay. 
So, since, uh, como ya teníamos algunos errores, vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Le voy a dar unos minutos para que aquí ya lo hagan tranquilos. Este, como dijo uh, Ramiro, this is the same exercise that we had there, but, uh, I mean, there were some errors there. So, I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to finish this one, and it's exactly the same from the ones that we have there, okay? So, with enough. Remember that enough is before, right? Okay, so since you know the answers already, I guess it's going to be very easy. Number one, who wants to share number one? Number number one, teacher. Yep. The, the marketing department hasn't created enough interest. Very good. Hasn't created. Remember, created. Created, okay. Very good. Number two. Ah, the dog is participating. He's barking in English. Number okay. number two. Ah, uh -huh, please. Our product offer enough features and benefits. Very good. Offer enough features and benefits. Nice. Number three. Number number three, teacher. Okay. The place strategy demand enough channel of distribution. Very good. Enough channels of uh, channels of distribution and demands. Right. And number four. Retailers will stock enough goods and sell them. Very good. Retailers will stock 
enough goods and so on. And the last one, number five. Plus enough information on the competition. Very good. We lack enough information on the competition. Nice. Uh, do you remember what is lack? Carencia, uh, no. Very good. That we don't have enough. Right? So that is it. <laughs> okay. And, well, you know what is stuck. Okay, so let's go to the exercise number six. Building excuse me, excuse me, uh, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, number two, uh, uh, no, no, no lleva enough, verdad? Sí lleva. Lo que pasa es que la plataforma está incorrecto. Okay, is our product <laughs> offer <laughs> features and benefits? Punto. Sería en la plataforma sí. Allá creo que decía great features and benefits. Aquí tendría que ser our products offer enough features and benefits. Okay. That is the okay. correct. Okay. Pero en la plataforma es our products offer features and benefits. Yes. Creo que esta es la que tenía great. Uh, no recuerdo si era con great o sin great, pero sí. No lleva ahí. Ah, great. Uh, great mm -hmm. es antes de offer, ¿verdad? Sí, en vez de enough. O sea, que en vez de enough le han puesto great. No se sabe por qué. Offer, great. Nosotros en la universidad decíamos que eran cascaritas. ¿eh? <laughs> yeah. Para It's to check if you pay attention, right? <laughs> yes, yes. In yeah. my school too, Oscar. In my yeah. school too. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. But no, no worries. Whenever you have questions, we can check. Okay? That is not a problem. Okay. Now, let's go to the exercise number six. Building vocabulary. Match the words and expressions to their meanings. Compare your answers with a partner. Uh, first, we're going to read. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, Silvia sorry. Patricia. Okay. Match the word and expression to their meanings. Compare your answer with the partner. Number one, advertising, uh, promotion designing to create a short term increase in sales. Number two, personal sales, building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the public. Number three, sales promotions, sales interaction between the first representative and a consumer on a one to one. This is number four, sponsor, a form of marketing that, that employs an open right sponsor, openly sponsored message to promote or sell a product. Number five, public relations, a person organization that provides funds for an activity carried carry out by another. Very good. So that is it. Uh, that is the vocabulary and that is the definition. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to check into that one. Uh, so you can look for any words, vocabulary, and then we're going to check together. Okay. Nice teacher.
Okay, so let's check together. Uh, the first one says advertising. What will be the answer for that? Promotion designed to create a short-term increase in sales. Promotions designed to create a short-term increase in sales. Very good. Uh, personal sales, what is that? The sales interaction between the firm representative and consumer on a one-to-one -one basis. Very good. Sales interaction between the firm's representative and a consumer on a one-to-one -one basis. Amazing. What will be sales promotion? Anybody's sales promotion? Hello. Okay, so it's very easy. A form of marketing that employs an openly sponsored message to promote or sell a product. That would be it. What okay. about sponsor? What is sponsor? Sponsor uh, teacher from a, a person organization that provides funds for an activity carried out by another. Very good. That is a sponsor. Okay. A person or organization that provides funds for an activity carried out by an and the number five public relations building a positive relationship between the organization the media and the public very good perfect so it's going to be a building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the pool. Very good. Do you have any questions on this one? For example, what is the sponsor? Patrocinador. <laughs> Very good. That is it. Sponsor. I don't see any other word. Um, let's see. No, I don't see. Do you have any other questions? Please. For me, not teacher. Very good. Okay. So uh, before we move into this one, we're going to do a different activity. Let me just stop here and let's see how it goes that far. Let me look for it. Um, hold on a second. This is it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, okay? We're going to do a dictation. So you need paper and a pencil. And I'm going to dictate a paragraph, okay? So I'm going to repeat several times and then uh, at the end, I'm going to read 
all the uh, the paragraph. And then I'm going to show you, and you are going to check if you were correct or not. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Teacher. Are you ready? Do you have pen and pencil or in the computer if you want? Okay. Let's see how it goes, my friends. So here we go. Let's check something else. Hold on a second. Yeah, hold on a second. Okay, here we go. A business. A business can be described. A business can be described as an organization. As an organization. or enterprising or enterprising entity enterprising entity that engages that engages in professional in professional comma commercial comma Com commercial commercial okay teacher Com after after the enterprising enterprise uh, entity Entry. What do you spell that entry? Entry. Oh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> okay. So you are going to check. Okay. <laughs> okay. Entity that engages in professional, comma, commercial, or industrial activities. Or industrial activities. or industrial activities, period. There can be... Sorry, industrial activities. Industrial activities, period. And then there can be... There can be different types Different types. 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 Different types of businesses. Of businesses. Of businesses depending on. depending on various factors. 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 Various factors. Period. Excuse me? Period. Okay, some are, some are, some are for profit, for profit, some are for profit, comma, while some, while, while, some while some 
while some are non-profit. No. While non-profit. Profit. Yeah. While some are non-profit. Non-profit. Period. Period. And then similarly. Similarly. Comma. Their ownership. Their ownership. Their ownership also makes also makes also makes them different. Them different. Different. Excuse me. The beginning raining in my over my house. I uh, can no hear worries. you very well. Uh, no worry, I can repeat. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Similar, <laughs> their ownership also makes the them different. Uh -huh. Makes them different. Uh -huh. And then uh, from each other. From each other. from each other. From each other, period. Now I'm going to read all the paragraphs so you can check, okay? A business can be described as an organization or enterprising entity that engages in professional, commercial, or industrial activities. There can be different types of businesses depending on various factors. Some are for profit, while some are non-profit. Similarly, their ownership also makes them different from each other. Okay, now we're going to check. Let's Sorry, see. Sorry, only uh, don't. I don't know what is the the uh, the signification uh, of the the word period. Ah, you are going to see that right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's check. Okay, so this is the paragraph, my friends. Check, please, and see if you have some errors, mistakes. Entity. Entity. Okay. Describe, describe is in, in the past. Exactly. I A business can be. Ah, okay. Describe. Types. Enterprise. Different types. Of businesses, person, some are they also make them different from each other. I really, I, 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 I read the paragraph and I understand that this and uh, in Germany, right? <laughs> yeah, period is punto, right? Uh, and okay. And uh, the problem is that there are three names for, for punto. I, el punto tiene tres nombres en inglés. Uh, si nosotros decimos period, eso es punto, pero en gramática. <laughs> hey, teacher, when, when, when you hear period, what is the period? What is the period? What is the in the three? I in the write three, P D A. <laughs> in, 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 the, in the three, in the three times period, what is the period? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no, it's period. Period, uh, como periodo, I mean, okay. period. Uh, y eso, bueno, el, el punto tiene tres nombres. 
El primero en gramática, en cualquier dictado, alguna cosa por el estilo, es period. Si hablamos de números, es point. Ajá, como 9.5, por ejemplo. Eh, y si hablamos de internet, es dot. So, dot com. Dot com. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay, okay. Igual hay otras palabras que hay que aprender. Oh, o sea, es coma, es lo mismo. Pero ¿cómo decimos punto y coma? So, uh... ¿Alguien sabe? Punto y coma. Ok, punto y punto. coma es uh, semicolon. ¿Semi? Colon. ¿Y cómo se dice dos puntos? Two points. <laughs> no, it's not two points. Ok. <laughs> Ese es colon. Colon. Yeah, colon, ese es dos puntos. Igual, uh, a veces hay como, ¿cómo se llama en español? El, 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 el. Guión, ah, ok, guión. Ese se puede decir de dos maneras, puede ser dash o se puede decir hyphen. ¿Cómo, perdón, hi? Eh, dash. dash, dash, y el otro es hyphen. But dash is in the middle of the, of the letter. Exacto. So dash or hyphen. Okay. Tenemos también uh, el, el guión bajo. Entonces decimos guión bajo. Ese se dice... Under, ¿Ajá? Under dash, no. <laughs> Casi. Underscore. <laughs> underscore. 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 Okay. underscore. ¿Cómo se escribe pidio? Disculpe, teacher. Uh, ahorita se lo pongo en el chat. Pero es, es fácil, como periodo. Periodo. Ahí está. En, en algún momento... En algún momento Periodo. hice la lógica de que tenía que ir a la siguiente, a la, a la siguiente parte y no, y no unir las líneas cuando ah, decía okay. period, period. <ríe> yeah, eso es el punto. El punto Which period. So, that, makes, that makes sense. ¿Qué otro? Uh, uh, el, el, no recuerdo en español cómo se llama el, 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 cuando ponemos así el, el diagonal. La ese fleca. es la pleca slash ese es slash ajá de hecho a slash al guitarrista de Guns N' Roses por eso lo pusieron slash, slash porque ajá. andaba todo así de lado ajá. 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 excelente <risa> siempre se aprende algo ajá. yeah that is true paréntesis ese puede ser paréntesis con el sonido de th paréntesis o brackets brackets okay. Brackets. Signo de interrogación. Ese es question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Y el otro es exclamation mark. La vírgula o virgulilla. Ah, ese sí, no sé. <risa> es que ese creo que no sé si va mucho en, en inglés. No, no va en inglés. No. Yeah, that, that's, that's why. <risa> Por la Pero no. Ajá. <laughs> okay, interesting, right? So, uh, and uh, let me ask you, uh, how many of you had only three mistakes or less? Three errors or less? I had two, teacher. Very good, that is nice. On two. I have many. Okay. Many. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sometimes what happens uh, when we do this exercise is that sometimes we don't remember or we don't get, for example, in describe. I say describe. And that little sound described in past, uh, it makes a difference, right? It makes a difference. Uh, esas pequeños detalles a veces nos dan la pauta. Y así es en, en inglés. O sea, la gente que habla solo inglés, si usted no dice ese sonidito chiquitito, no le entiende, ¿verdad? Es que estás diciendo. En mi caso, en el describe, I I hear uh, how to destroy. Ah, okay. <laughs> and, and, and the logic is uh, maybe uh, a business can be can be destroy uh, an organization. Ah, okay. But, uh, for that, I, I think that is the correct word. Okay, destroy and describe. 
Yeah, another situation that happens in, in this kind of exercises is that sometimes we don't know the word. Cuando no sabemos la palabra, it is difícil. Difícil ponerla, pues. I mean, we need to know the word. Um, pronunciation. For, huh? for example, I, I lose when you say period. Uh, period, uh huh? I, I lose. <laughs> what is? Uh, I don't know what is that. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, if we don't know the word, uh, is I mean, of course, it's going to be an error, right? That that is going to happen. Porque hay palabras, por ejemplo, similarly, tal vez nunca la habían escuchado, pero se parece al español. Entonces la podemos poner. Pero hay palabras que de plano no las conocemos. I mean, it's going to be very difficult. Entonces, en el dictado siempre lo hago también así. Siempre digo las puntuaciones porque es importante saber los nombres de esas palabras. Como el, ¿Se acuerdan el, el arroba? ¿Cómo se dice arroba? That. No, ese es at. punto. At, ah, muy bien. At. Entonces el arroba es at. Entonces yo les, les estoy preguntando su correo electrónico. You need to know. At. At gmail.com, por ejemplo. Ok. So, this is a very good exercise. I mean, it's something that I like to do in all the classes. If we meet in the advanced level, we do this exercise, but one student is doing the dictation. So it's going to be a little bit different, okay? Very good. Uh, do you have any questions or comments on the exercise? Teacher is interesting, la activity. Yes. Never, yes. never, yes. nunca había estado en un dictado en inglés. Yes, sí. it's my first uh, dictado. ¿Cómo se dice dictado? Dictado. Dictation. Dictation. It's my first dictation in English. ¿Cómo I, uh, uh, no me fue tan mal. Good, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. teacher. Oh, it's a pleasure, you know. Uh, this kind of exercise are very small, very easy, but sometimes uh, it gives you the importance, for example, on pronunciation, right? If the pronunciation is not correct, I mean, of course, the other person is not going to understand the word, right? They are not going to be able to write it. Uh, otro ejercicio que yo les recomiendo, haciendo ahí el paréntesis de los ejercicios, en Google, en los documentos de Google, arriba hay una parte donde usted puede dictarle al documento. Y usted lo puede poner en inglés. Y usted le dicta el documento. Si el documento pone una palabra que no era la que usted dijo, no la pronunció bien. So, That is another exercise that you can do by yourself. Puede tener ahí un pequeño párrafo, así como este que acabamos de ver, y usted dictárselo al, al documento de Google. Y si una palabra no la dice bien, la va a buscar como la pronuncia y la va a mejorar. So that is a very good exercise that we all can do. Okay? Technology now allows us to do a lot of things. So you can take advantage on that one. So you can learn more English into that, okay? The platform of the uh, Google Traductor uh, had, uh, had the, the same uh, situation. If you write uh, bad word and don't traduction, don't make the traduction. Only uh, I have the problem some some word that I write and The traduction is the, the same word that I write and no traduction, nothing. Yeah, that happens. That happens. And that is the good thing. The good thing is that nowadays with technology, we really can, can do many things, many kind of exercises. Definitely we can do that. Okay. Very good. Very good. So we have more time and we're going to continue practicing. So we are going to do a practice with all the group. Okay. And we're going to speak about different topics. And everybody is welcome to participate. So, for example, I want to ask you, what is the best movie that you have ever seen? The best movie. Gla Gladiator. I love that movie. Gladiator is the, the, the best. best movie on all the times. <laughs> you know very... it's, it's made the, the second part really I didn't know yes. that for the next year maybe oh my. <laughs> that, that is crazy I don't know what's going to happen but it's going to be interesting 
Uh, yes. and la, la saga de Harry Potter. Harry Potter, you like Harry <laughs> Potter. Good, good. Magic yeah. and things that are. magicians. I really like about this kind of things. And it's interesting when there is a lot of movies, then you have to watch the next one, right? And see what happens. And I really love, you know, that the ones that I really love are uh, this one, Fantastic Animals and other another i don't remember but it's from harry potter but it's before harry potter those are are very good i really love animales fantásticos exact fantastic animals and other i don't remember the other word but that that is very good that the two or three books have you seen meet joe black yeah, I love that yes. movie as well. Very good. Yes, movie. it's a very good movie. <laughs> yeah, it's Meet Joe Black is a very, very good. Movie. Uh, that is one of the movies, and also that year is one of the movies that I watch sometimes. I mean, many times. Yeah. Sometimes I say I want to watch that movie again. Right? So, and Nunca it's, aburre, really. exactly, um, it's very interesting. Jack, the other uh, uh, movies is uh, Jack Reacher. Ah, yeah, the one from Jack Richard, that is... Yeah. yeah uh, three that, three movies. There are three movies like, that are related. Yeah, very good, yeah. Like, yeah, with, that... Ken that, you Reeves. Uh, Ken with, Reeves. See, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. What other movies uh, do you think are the best, the best movies that you have seen? Uh, uh, teacher, I think I like Coco. I like Coco. Ah, okay. I With remember the that movie. Yeah. That, like that was, matter. yeah, it's very good because it's very Latin American, right? And also, uh, I mean, all the movie was good. The, the drawings, I really like animated movies. I really love them. I know that they are for kids, but for example, I really love Kung Fu Panda. Have you seen that movie? Yes, yeah. I like. Yes. <laughs> Those movies well, are little very, kid is very good. Wonderful. <laughs> Another another uh, movie that is good, but this for for kids is Shrek. Ah, uh, Shrek is a classic. I mean, yeah. I mean in the Spanish, because the traduction is very very funny. And, yeah, and donkey, donkey <laughs> yeah. is very very funny the traduction. Yeah, the I mean the the movies from Shrek you have to watch them in Spanish because of the donkey. You're right. Yeah, I believe that it's special, right? It's different. In English, it's nice, but in Spanish, it's, it's amazing because of that. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, the song. hangover with traduction and Mexican <laughs> language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is very different. <laughs> it's totally in, in, in case of the donkey and the movie, uh, he he sang the the he sang that the the table that does more uh, uh, applause or no remember claps huh okay and the donkey sing ah uh, uh, yeah the the song but uh, had Eugenio oh. Derbez had a problem with the group that uh, that sing the the, the song originally. And he had to, to make a disc with different songs and about the 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 does the, 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 the table the most most flash. <laughs> uh, yeah, I with remember the, the, with the most uh, long hemoco y con todos los personajes que él hace tuvo que cantar. In my yeah, I remember that read the, that news. I mean. He said that he he wanted to put something funny and from from Mexico there, and he thought that the other people they were going to say, "Yeah, thank you, right?" But they were not happy, <laughs> so they they have legal problems, right? And he had to to do something with that, so that was not good. But anyways, that happens. Right? I don't know and if you you like some some movies when translate history like pianist. I don't know what to say, pianista. The, the pianist, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, I, yeah. it's great. Oh, this is a wonderful <laughs> movie. Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful. Yes, I like it. For the like the, 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 
it's like a boys in I don't know if say boys pyjamas. Ah, uh, the the boy with the striped pyjamas. Yeah. Yes, that is a very good one. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's the ending it's the is same, it's the same situation for the Holocaust. Yeah. Yes. It's true. Yeah. Uh, I mean, some a lot of things has happened in the world, right? And uh, mm -hmm. I really love that kind of movies that they reflect what happened, so we can we can maybe not feel the way they feel because it's impossible, but we know that it was a, a big thing, right? So, and those movies are, are very good. I I really like drama movies as well. Drama movies are very nice. Okay, what other recommendations do you have? What other uh, movies? I, I recommend I like... uh, Patch Adams. <laughs> ah, Patch Adams is a good one, yeah. Well, it's, no, very and good. it's based on real life, right? So uh, just real life and, and very good, very good movie. Because the situation is 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 a a reflexive moment. Yeah. And I remember that the, the real doctor, the real Patch Adam, he came to El Salvador, right? Yes, he came. Mm -hmm. Uh, another other... people, another other another movies we can love with there with with them because uh like um a pretty woman or or all you do in um hay una que se llama uh bueno uh, de las personas que se van a los lugares donde hay uh, casinos mm -hmm. That bets, uh -huh. maybe uh -huh. it's focus. I remember that there is another one that calls focus. Uh -huh. No me acuerdo cómo se llaman los casinos que están en, eh, creo que están en Texas, pero no sé. All right. Es la gran apuesta. Ah, buena. Ah, uh, Big Short. Or something like that one. Or 11, Ocean's 11 is another one that is kind of like that. I really like that one because the, you don't expect what happens at the end, right? So they change a lot of things. It's a very good. Another movie is uh, The Beautiful Life. Uh, not La Vida Bella. Yeah. Not... Yes. That, is, that is a it's, good movie. Yeah, it's a very hard movie. I remember that that was the very first movie that was not from the United States that won as the best movie of the year, right? So yes. It was very good. Very good. Yeah. But and it's... The, the, the best to the best is the all the, all the movies on the Avengers. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that. <laughs> I I love those. Movies, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, it's because very good. Stories. I, yeah. I, thought, like it. I thought Ramiro would say American Beauty. American. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that is a good movie as well. It's a good movie, o sea. Yeah. It's really have you good. ever yeah. Have you ever seen there is a movie that is with the same actor that appears in Gladiator? That is called a beautiful mind. Ah yes, a beautiful, a beautiful uh, mind beautiful with mind. the good, yes. the yeah, wife also, is the Salva, Salvadorian. Salvadorian. Uh, exactly. Yes, yeah. That is that is amazing because I mean yes. I didn't know, but when I was reading about the story that is based on a real story, yeah, the the, the wife the, had the wife of John Nash is from El Salvador. Yes. yes. <laughs> the last name is Sun Singh. Very good. And uh, any other? Any other? Uh, let's speak about drama movies. What are the best drama movies that you have seen? Drama. Drama, drama movies. Drama Wait, movies. Weapon Mortal. Uh, I haven't seen that one. Arma Mortal. Uh, but that is action, right? So is that action, is. Yes. Yeah, that is Little Weapon, I guess is the name. Little Weapon. Yeah, that's the name of that one. Uh, Innocent Voices, I haven't seen that one, to be honest with you. Have you ever seen that? Innocent Voices, that is facing in several Ah, right? uh, yes, teacher. Innocent Voices. Mm -hmm. Innocent yeah. Voices. Yeah. I haven't seen that. I, I, I want to see it. I, there are a lot of movies that I want to see. The I other, really like to watch movies. The other thriller is um, Hannibal Lecter. I like that one. Um, the, Hannibal. The Lamb's Voices. The, the, yeah, it's, uh, what is the name in English? Lamb. 
El silencio de los inocentes. Ajá. Uh -huh. But in English, it's the lambs of something. I don't know. Lambs But it's, crying it's separate. Yeah. And uh, there is another one that is a red dragon, right? Red dragon is the sequence. Um, yeah, that is also based on the same kind of thing. So very crazy. Very good. Okay, what about TV shows? What are the best TV shows that you have ever seen? That 70 show. Ah, that no, 70 show is good. Very good series. <laughs> um, Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory is something that I really like. I really enjoy that one. I, I watch everything, all the seasons. Mm, and, the, yes. and the ending is, is a good thing. And I learn a lot of things also. Nine, nine seasons. <laughs> Nine seasons, yeah. Friends, Master yeah. Chef is a top shop. Uh, I'm sorry, which one? Master Chef. Ah, Master Chef, that is a very good one. Yeah, Master they are, good. they have a, a short time and a little, a little resources, they have to do a lot of things, right? So that is crazy yeah. because it's like a reality a reality show. Reality show. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad, wonderful series. Yeah, I really love that. So, I mean, it's very basic, but also it's something very interesting because actually the name a Breaking Bad is like, uh, it means when you are transforming into a bad person, right? And that is exactly what you see. And sometimes, I mean, I, I really love the fact that that happens. I mean, bad people on the streets, in, in, in the real life, they don't say, I'm going to become a bad person. It's because the circumstances, and then they take bad choices, bad decisions, right? I was in a course once, and the person that was delivering the course said that one. I mean, nobody, nobody in the world wakes up in the morning and says, today, I'm going to crash my car. Or today, I'm going to have a fight in my job. Or today, I'm going to discuss very hard with my wife or husband. Nobody says that one. But the circumstances and the choices that we make, the decisions that we take, that makes us uh, to, to sometimes to do things that are not correct, right? So that happens in that TV show. That he, he has a, a very hard situation and he takes a bad decision, right? So yes, that happens. Yes. Yeah. If you teach another another series, for me, is a very very good. What's what's very good? Game of Thrones. Oh, amazing! <clears throat> I really love that one. You know, uh, at the end, I remember that everybody, all the fans, they were saying that the ending was not good. Right? I hated the ending. They want oh, that yeah. the the blonde girl and and the uh, young Snow they get together and have a family, right? But if you, I, I saw the show again for the second time, all together, and it makes sense. If you see everything, you see that that is the ending. That is the ending that has to happen. So it's interesting. And the and the dragons flying, I mean, that was very good. But nothing like Two and a Half Men. Oh, Two and a Half Men is amazing. That is very good. I mean, all the chapters are really good. Of course, the, the first part, right, where Charlie, Charlie Sheen is the the actor yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. For me yeah, is better. Too. I'm sorry. What did you say, Paula? I love it too. Two and a half men. Yeah, that that was very good. Very, very good. Show. It was very nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, what all what other shows have you seen? Or oh, you recommend? There are many, right? I was watching one that is called Vikings. Um, Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds is a very good show. Yeah, I, I remember that I saw some chapters. I haven't seen that much. That is, uh, I, I was watching also when I was well, I, a little bit younger, uh, The Mentalist. I love that one as well. Oh, yes, The Mentalist. The Mentalist. And CSI? Uh, CSI is very popular, right? The I, yeah. Uh, Dr. House is also very popular. Have you ever seen Dr. House? 
Grace Anatomy. Grace Anatomy. Yeah. Grace. Yeah. Grace. I I remember that I saw some part of Grace Anatomy. I didn't see the ending. I don't know. It did it finish already, or is it still in production? I like the story suit. I don't know if you you see that. Which suits. one? Ah, suits. Oh, yeah. Okay. From lawyers, right? I really love yes. them. I like, I like Yeah, it. they are always there with big problems. It's, you know, that is like my job. My job is like that. I have to solve a lot of problems every day. But anyways, that's why we're there, right? Yeah, teacher, since it's, uh -huh. teacher, are you watch um, How I Met Your Mother? I haven't seen that one, but I want to see. They say that it's a very good show. I recommend it. Okay, very good. Yeah, I, I have seen some spots on that one. I never saw, but uh, I want to see because yeah, they say that it's a very good show. This is this is a good comedian series. Yes. Okay. Very good. Mother Family. Comes Mother Family. English. Mother, yeah. Mother family, yes. It's good. There's a lot of things that we can do on the TV, right? I really love to watch TV and TV shows. I I, I want to watch a lot of lots of things because, for example, sometimes I watch anime. Sometimes I watch dramas, movies, horror movies. I really love horror movies. I want to watch The Nun too. I don't know if you have seen that one. They say that it's, it's not that horror. They say that it's like a drama. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I, re I recommend it, The Manifest. The Manifest? Period. Yes. Oh, Period. I haven't seen that one. The Manifest. It's very good. Yes. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it down and watch that one. Manifest. I always recommend a movie that is a horror movie. It's a crazy movie that is called Hereditary. Hereditary. Have you seen that? Not the chat. Yeah, I want to write the name here on the chat. I do recommend. It's a horror movie. If you like horror movies, yes, it's a very good movie. That's the name. And there are many others. The Conjuring. I love The Conjuring and uh, The Exorcist. Mm, that was good as well. But there are many movies that, I mean, are kind of silly. I don't like those movies. <laughs> uh, saga that uh, Mark uh, Ciso, uh, The Lord of the Ring. Oh, that is true. That is amazing. I mean, and you know, uh, the... Ah, the human centipede. <laughs> that is crazy. That is a crazy movie. Crazy, yeah. If you like the human centipede, you have to watch Hereditary. You are going to love that one. And yes, The Lord of the Rings. I mean, I, uh, you know, recently, like three months ago, I watched the, the, the ones that are in HBO that are the, the one that four hours each movie. Four hours watching the movie. That is crazy. But it was very good. It was very good. And uh, that that book, those books, and they influence, they influence uh, a lot of things, a lot of music, a lot of other TV shows. Uh, it's very popular, actually. It's very popular because uh, it's a reflection of, actually, it's a reflection of gospel and things. That one is interesting. Good, good. Any other that you would recommend? Or any other that you saw and you say, no, that is not a good show. The, the book read recommendation is the El Monje que, que vendió su Ferrari. Is that a, a movie or a book? Book. A book. Read the book. Okay. There are many books also that we can read, right? Uh, and I, I have never read that one. Maybe I'm going to look for that one. Okay. I always recommend a book. I don't know if you uh, like that kind of books, but it's a, a very interesting book. It's, it's called Lazos de Amor. Uh, I read it in Spanish. I don't know if that happens in English, but it's a very good book. Um, mm -hmm. I will tell you part of it, okay? Uh, it's a book about uh, a psychiatrist. And this psychiatrist is, uh, he hypnotizes people because he wants, I mean, there are people that they have uh, fears, they have problems, 
and he hypnotized people to check, uh, to check what is the origin of the problems that they have. But when he hypnotized people, the people they they start to speak about past lives. Imagine that that is crazy, and I won't tell you more. Things. You need to read the book if you want. But it's a very good book. I really like that. Uh, I also really enjoy El Quijote de la Mancha. That is a very good book. I really enjoyed that one. It's a big book, but it's a very nice book. This is a big book. Yeah. Very good, you know. 400 page? Uh, depending on the edition, but yes, the, the small one is around 300. The big one is around 700 pages. Okay, my friends, it was a very good class. We practiced a lot of things and this is the end. So I'm going to check the attendance and then we are going to go to bed. So uh, remember also that tomorrow we have a homework, right? You all need to present a commercial, a commercial for a product or a service, any product or any service, but it's going to be a commercial like, hello, have you ever put this lotion? I don't know, whatever you want to say, a commercial for a product tomorrow, okay? What time for this, for the presentation, teacher? Uh, it can be around three, five minutes, six minutes, yeah. Three minutes is good. I mean, it doesn't have to be that long, uh, but not one minute, of course, right? Commercial or promotion for a exactly. product? Yeah, it's a commercial, like a TV show, around no? It's a commercial. It's a, it's a TV tomorrow. For tomorrow, yeah. Okay, okay. Good. Okay, it's let's check it yeah. uh, It's individual, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Aida Isabel López Bonilla, Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez, Blanca Isabel Pinaca de Rodríguez, Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez, Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Here, teacher. Good. Mm. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. Mm. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. Maria Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Monica Wendy Avalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidoni. Present, teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here, Sergio Aguri. Okay. Sandra Yanira Gómez Rivero. Present. <laughs> Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present. Good. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in Dream. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Rest See a lot. See, 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 See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Hello, Anna.